Hello, welcome back for another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at March 28, 2024, it's Fast Thermo Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of our sodas here at Gas HQ, and so am I. My name is Bill Murphy. Uh, Phil Newman is around. He'll be around tomorrow. Say hi. Tell Philip I said hi. Um, we create genuinely approachable Sudoku, which are little variant Sudokus, which is a little bit different to regular Sudoku, but not that different. Um, but these are meant to be a lovely introduction to some weird things that you may not have uh, considered before. Um, like this puzzle, uh, Fast Thermo. Um, the link to this is in the description down there. I mean, you can read it in my URL bar if you feel so inclined, but like one click's probably a little easier. Um, down there, you'll also find links to our website and to, to, bleh, to today's hat times. Two hats being for a very quick time, one hat a pretty solid time, and everyone gets a dinosaur because we, we, we think dinosaurs are cool. Um, but yes, uh, with that, let's get into it. So. I do remember the solving this one. I really like this one. Um, so normal Sudoku rules apply. So if uh, you are just descending to Earth for the first time, a Sudoku is a nine by nine grid where we can put the digits one to nine once each. So each box, row, and column must have the digits one to nine. That's it. Um, now. Uh, in this, we also have thermometers. Uh, the bulb is there, the tip is there. Digits must increase along a thermometer from bulb to tip, like regular thermometers from whichever planet you come from. Um, but, and this is the big but, um, that's what a normal thermo puzzle would do. This has less thermometers than a normal puzzle or less dramatic thermometers. So we're going to need a little bit more additional rules. And for this today, uh, we have fast thermometers. So digits along thermometers must increase by at least two each step. So uh, I, I will uh, use this one as an example. I can't do five, seven, eight, because this is an increase of two, but this is an increase of one. So this thermometer must read five, seven, nine. That's me writing my first digits into this puzzle, but uh, feel free to give it a go in the link in the description down below. With that, I'm gonna just refresh this whole thing and then we'll go from there. All right. So, uh, five needs to go up by two and then two, making that a uh, five, seven, nine thermo. This needs to increase by one. Uh, now, this part of the thermometer needs to be at least five. Can be more, but it can't be less. So that has to be either six. If it was, uh, it can't be seven uh, because we already have a seven in the box. And it can't be eight because if it was eight, then what's that? Because I, like I said earlier, cannot put a 10 into a circuit grid. So this is six and this is eight or nine. Uh, now, two less than five is three, but we already have one in a row. We also have a one. So the only digit that can go here is a two. Uh, two more than five is seven, then nine, making this eight and then that has to be four because that's the last digit to place uh this has to be a one and uh okay i'll i'll take it i'll take my easy digits where i can get them uh this needs to be higher than at uh, two higher than five so it needs to be at least seven but it can't be a seven and it can't be a nine so it needs to be eight uh all right uh seven needs to be this step needs to be five or lower um but i also need to put another one the only two digits in this row that we have not used that are five or less are two and four so let's put go ahead and put those in uh this needs to be nine making this six pardon me oh. <laughs> disgusting who raised me um Three higher than six is eight because we already have seven and nine in the row. So this must be a four. And we'll go over here. So I need to do two digits, five or less. Uh, well, that has to be a two. And this can't be a five because I've got a five in the box. So that has to be a four. Now I need to place five and six here. Uh, five in box seven tells us which way around these go. 
now I'm going to use this knowledge uh, because two less than five is three. This has to be one. Uh, where does two go in this box? Two must go there because uh, that would have, if I put it there, it'd have to be uh, zero and then minus two, which uh, is a good idea for a puzzle, but not one, not the one that I'm doing today. A six and nine on a thermometer must always increase towards the tip. So that's how we're going to do that. Uh, I sound like a chicken today. Okay. Uh, well, I need to put two digits to the left and uh, four on this thermometer, four or less on this thermometer. Uh, I already have a one there and I have a three there. So this has to be four and two. Uh, what else have I got? Let's go over here. All right, uh, I need to put a two, four, eight, and nine. Wow, that's that's pretty handy. So uh, this has to be four. That has to be two. Why can that be four? Uh, why do I already know how those go? Well, I need to put an eight and a nine. Eight or nine means that we're already out of single digits uh, once we place that on a thermometer. So that's two. That's four. Uh, and then I need to place eight and nine. I don't quite know what it, uh, which way around those go just yet, but that's fine. Um, if life has taught me anything, you don't have to have all the answers all the time. Uh, higher than four, too high up than four specifically is six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, I need to put two of those in this spot, uh, but I already see an eight and a six with those two digits. So this is seven and nine. Uh, oh, what have we got to put down here? This has to be three because it can't go anywhere else in column two. Uh, this is one, eight, uh, two and four to place, two, four there. Uh, six and eight to go here. Well. Two higher than five is seven, so I can't put a six. I can't put a six on the thermometer. I must go like that. So this is four, seven, and nine. I'll take the nine, take the four. Uh, less than four. Well, this column already has a two and a three in it, so that must be one. Uh, six, seven, eight, and nine. I still don't know which way around those go, but I do know that both of them are. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, six and seven can't go in any of those spots because those cells see it. We have a six down here, which tells us how this whole thing resolves. So that's seven, that's six. Uh, this is five. I don't know which way around the two and the three go, but I have a feeling I will see it in a second. Uh, five, eight, and nine to place. No, can't quite do that. This is one, eight, and nine. Mm. Ah, okay, there we go. Uh, I have to place a seven and an eight in this box still. I have a seven and eight over here. So seven and eight must come down here. Now, uh, I still have to place one and eight in box three because this is a seven, eight pair and this is a one. I know that my one and eight have to go around here like this. So that tells us which way that goes. That's five, that's nine. Um, five, three, let's fix this up. This needs a one, five and a six. I was a little bit more optimistic than I should have been about fixing it up. Um, but uh, now we are just on two regular Sudoku. Uh, the only digit that I automatically know where it goes in this box is nine. Um, if you're like, how does he do that? Uh, the way that my brain scans this is I know that the digits that I have to place in the center are all one to nine. If I know that they form a closed set of uh, oh, sorry, I'm not explaining this super well. I could just finish this puzzle, but I think this might be helpful to at least one person. And I have spotted ha uh, a naked single in this puzzle, so it's fine. I'll take a second. Um, if you get a situation where you've got some digits uh, leading into a box like this, 
um, which does quite happen, uh, does happen quite a lot, especially in gas, um, because we try and give you a lot of digits pointing into the center. Um, if you're trying to like mentally go, okay, is it ones that I need to look at? Is it twos that I need to look at? Uh, what you can do is if you go around all your pairs and triples and stuff and you go, okay, if this was a group of the digits one to nine, do I have a full set of anything? Well, if I go, well, I've got a pair of ones I have in place, pair of twos and threes. Uh, this is four, fives and sixes, sevens and eights. Uh, well, that means that I automatically have four nines all looking at that one box. Um, it's just something that I use to kind of reduce my time scanning individually. Uh, never mind that I've kind of spent two minutes explaining it. Anyway, that's a seven, uh, which will basically resolve the whole box. Uh, eight, seven, four, seven. See, like I said, uh, that seven was there the whole time, but it made it a lot more apparent for myself. Um, I hope that helps. Um, it's just a way I mentally check things. If it didn't help and you went ahead and finished this puzzle without me, congratulations. I love that for you. Uh, this has been Fast Thermo by Clover. My name is still Bill Murphy, last time I checked. Um, have a lovely rest of your day, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.